Are spreadsheets the new Unity engine? Game development isn't cheap. Game engines often have subscriptions and you need a nice PC to run this type of software. What if I told you that there was a game engine that rivals these competitors with no fees that can run on any computer? That's right, I recreated a classic Pokemon puzzle in Google Sheets. If you've played any Pokemon game, you're familiar with the ice puzzle, a sliding puzzle where you have to navigate through blocks of ice to progress. Using each cell as a tile, we created a map for one level, designed the puzzle, and pulled it off with flying colors. I created the art assets for the game. The ice tiles that represent the floor, ice blocks that the player cannot cross, a bunny character, a red flag to mark the finish, and a controller that lets you move up, down, left, and right. I then designed the puzzle by laying out a grid that represents the map, creating the correct path, then randomly adding in ice blocks that may confuse the player. And now, onto what you're probably here for. How the hell do you code a game in a spreadsheet? Take it away, Dex. You and I had this idea a couple of months ago of, oh, we should do a video game in Microsoft Excel. And I went home and I was like, oh, can you do that? And then I quickly found out, no. However, <laughs> what if I use the Google Sheets API to basically have a tiny little website that's just the D-pad? and then the D-pad will drive the game via the Google Sheets API, which generally works. The problem is every button press has to go over the internet, which makes it incredibly like a high latency game. I've got all the maps for the game coded in here as basically enumerated blocks, which is very fun. There was a secondary problem I discovered, which was that Google Sheets only lets you make 60 API calls per minute, which means that I'm stuck with a frame rate of one frame per second, which is not exactly AAA quality. However, I realized that that limitation is per user. So I made a bunch of fake Google accounts that are just like Ice Puzzle 1, Ice Puzzle 2, Ice Puzzle 3. When you move, when one account runs out of like frames, basically, the next account just takes over and starts like putting the frames out. So by doing that, you can actually get the frame rate going as fast as your API Google connection is rather than being stuck at one frame per second. This thing's probably running at like, I don't know, 10 frames a second, but it's better. And then I originally built this out with a demo level that was just the ice cave from Pokemon Gold. But once we got it working, we had Emily do the level design and it works. That's the story. What a ramble. Have fun editing, Emily. <laughs> Can you give an explanation for someone who doesn't know how to code? Each of these uh, buttons on the D-pad is a button that sends a, a web request, just like how you type in www.google.com. Instead, these buttons say www.icegame.com slash up or slash down slash left slash right. When you send that request, I have code on the server that handles that. For example, here's the one for up and then I basically make a bunch of checks to see if we're allowed to move up. I basically tell the Google spreadsheet, hey, move the image of the bunny one unit up. And then it keeps doing that until we're not allowed to move up, either because we've hit, we've hit a wall or something usually. And then once you do that, it kind of says, okay, await an next command. And then you can punch in another button, makes another web request, and the process repeats. Time to subject my friends to playing this game. So the goal is to move the bunny to the red flag and note that when you move in a certain direction, yeah. you're going to move all the way in that direction until you hit an ice block. There you go. <laughs> 60 frame rate. You know what? It's uh, one of the most well-optimized games I've seen in recent memory. God, I wish I were better at puzzle games. <laughs> Uh, all right, let me just move you back. Oh, all right. I got it, I got it. We're good. Yay! Easy. Okay, I, th I thought I was like, what is the second level? <laughs> what is this? Okay, we're good. For being made in Excel, incredible. You know, the story enthralled me, the, um, <laughs> The graphics, next gen, truly, I mean, the best thing I've seen graphically since DOS, you know? <laughs> Coming out on the Switch 2. Uh, you hear that, Nintendo? Where's the camera? You hear that, Nintendo? <laughs> Ice game on, on Excel is gonna be your next big hit. You're sleeping on something incredible. Wanna make a game in Google Sheets but don't know how to code? 
Brilliant has you covered as it's a free and easy way to learn math, data science, and computer science interactively. Brilliant has thousands of lessons that can help you learn coding every day. Regardless of your skill level, Brilliant has tutorials to fit your needs and has new lessons every month. I'd recommend the Thinking in Code course, which gives you real-world problems to solve, like maps, app navigation, and writing a program that automatically responds to work messages. You can get started for free for 30 days, and the first 200 of you get 20% off an annual plan by visiting brilliant.org slash SonderingEmilyYT. And if you like this video, comment what game dev challenge I should do next. Be sure to like and subscribe. If you want bonus content, game dev resources, and one-on-one -on -one consulting, check out my Patreon, follow me on my other socials. I'll see you in the next one.